Important news tonight in the battle against Alzheimer's disease. The Food and Drug Administration just approved a second new drug to fight the progress of the disease. And neurologists say this could be just the beginning. Ari Hyde spoke with a neurologist today, and Ari joins us now in the studio with the details on why this drug has doctors so optimistic. Ari? Yeah, you know, it's not even so much about this drug, which can remove the amyloid proteins in the brain that cause Alzheimer's. It's more about what this drug symbolizes, and that's another step in the fight against Alzheimer's, perhaps even one step closer to a cure. You want, to be, you want to have the dots inside your inside the green Inside the green thing. Another day at the University of Miami's Comprehensive Center for Brain Health in Boca Raton. Another day focusing on diseases of the brain. On Tuesday, they were given another tool to work with. The Food and Drug Administration approved a drug called Denatamab to help those who suffer from Alzheimer's. I think from a patient perspective, it's really important. Dr. James Galvin is a neurologist and the director of the center. He stresses dunanumab is not a cure, but it can slow the progression of Alzheimer's. Some patients even show improvement. It could be very effective potentially at sort of modifying the disease and preventing people from moving on to the next stage of disease. Denatamab is the second Alzheimer's drug approved by the FDA. Lecanemab was the first. So for the first time now, doctors have options to treat not just the symptoms of Alzheimer's, but the disease itself. When you're dealing with a complex disease like Alzheimer's disease, the more treatment options you have, the more we can offer our patients. And Dr. Galvin says he believes this is only the beginning. He points to more than 100 clinical trials currently going on as reasons for optimism for the future of Alzheimer's patients and their families. Because it gives us multiple things to offer our patients and it gives hope for future things coming down the road that, that I think are going to make a difference in all our patients' lives. Now, like the first drug, lecanemab, denatemab can be very expensive. It also comes with some side effects, most notably a possible swelling or even bleeding in the brain. Patients on denatemab get MRIs to check for those side effects. Reporting live, Ari Hyde, WPBF 25 News.